concrete jungle, the hardcore city life, that's for when you're in your 20s. But I'm 40 now. The valley is where I need to be. I can't just get knocked up like any day of the week. But we're still trying to figure out my ovulation. Right. Uh, but it's not know. that we don't practice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got my form now. I agree. The valley is the next chapter of our lives. I'm gonna have to look this up on YouTube. It's nice to have a lot of friends around us who are kind of in the same phase of their life. Bro, I f***ing told you. Sorry, baby. Today, yeah, every day. Jesse's one of my buddies. Let's be honest, I'm the number one crier in the group. I met him, and I was 23 years old, long time ago. We started modeling together in New York, and he's married to Michelle. I think I met you a little, a long time. <laughs> Jesse and Michelle are definitely the bougiest out of the group. I'm allergic to cotton. This is cashmere, brother. I had a friend of mine tell me, once I realized that you know you're a douchebag, you were so charming to me. <laughs> These are easy to put back in. That's what she said. I met Nia and Danny both through Jackson Brittany. I want to be Danny and Nia when I grow up. I'm feeding them full Pump time, time and I'm pumping full time. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. They're couple goals, family goals. No drinking. No, no drinking. I call him Dark Side Danny. I did say half the bottle. Stop yelling. <laughs> With your belly. I know. I feel <laughs> huge today. Like me and Janet talk every single day. She's always just like good energy to me. I'm, I'm exhausted. I know you are. I'm sorry, baby. I want to cry, and I'm doing all this. <laughs> Jason is very passive, and I'm a little bit more passive aggressive, or maybe just aggressive. I had an easy pregnancy, other than the <laughs> who brought into my life. She got pregnant specifically so I could not yell at her, or we could not fight. Like <laughs> Lord of the Flies it's over bad, there. But it's not bad. Yes, it is. Zach and I, we actually lived in the same apartment complex. That's how Jasmine and Janet became friends. All three of us lived in the same building. I literally could give a shit. I don't need trash in my life. I don't need trash. The most dramatic in the group, three-way tie between Kristen. I don't give a shit, Brittany. Jack. Can't handle your alcohol. Then you stop drinking. And Jesse. Everybody say... shut the up. Okay, Michelle's going to talk. Don't make me, like, slap all of you. All these people move to the valley, get a house, pop out a couple of kids, and then they think they're so grown up. But these people don't grow up. I've done therapy twice this week. Right. Just over this group of people. Well, who's your therapist? Because that person needs to be fired. Trampoline right now. I know it'll it'll tire him out. <laughs> sometimes he wants a nap, sometimes he doesn't. Hi, I got like 36 cameos to do. I'm at a point in my life where I've recharged my batteries. I reassessed my life a little bit. These cameos take a long time to do. I do it all. I'm an influencer. We got podcast. We got the bar opening, right? We got to put a push on this bar. I'm a father. <laughs> That's a job. Every day there's a lot, and then you have your own stuff going on. You know, today marks 10 days since my surgery. <laughs> and it looks great. Jax and I are very lucky because we have friends who are plastic surgeons. They did all three or four of Jax's nose jobs. Was I a trooper? You were a trooper. They did my boobs. This is bigger than what we normally put on. I think they both will be happy. For the longest time, I have been so self-conscious about my double chin or like a turkey gobbler is what we like to call it. So I had lipo in my chin. But I still don't have full control of my jaw. I just have to remember that. Nighttime activities. Remember yeah, you that. ain't getting no BJs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You ain't going anywhere near that. <laughs> Do we even need to empty these just for you to show her? I feel like that's I just, just I might as well just go through them now because I can start getting rid of stuff. I don't keep gifts from old boyfriends. I owned a really beautiful home in Valley Village for about two and a half years. Beautiful place. Thank you. Really nice. At the time I was dating my ex-boyfriend, Alex. Alex urged me to sell my house and I moved in with him. Over the next five months, we broke up about seven times until 
He kicked me out and I moved into an apartment. Now I am moving into a nicer, bigger unit right down the hall. Baby, look what I found. Just this and nothing else. Maybe some lingerie under it. Yes, Katie got that for me for Christmas. Two weeks after my shitty breakup, I attended a wedding. Luke was one of the groomsmen. I thought, he's sweet, he's kind, he's funny. Then we had sex behind a tent, and the rest is history. Uh, the bitch is back. <laughs> Get yourself together like it's running through your veins. Little sugar for the fix and maybe something for the pain. That this here, that this here. I can hang for a minute, and then I'm going to have to pump, because boobs are going to explode. Yeah. OK. When I was a teenager, I wrote a list of all the things that I wanted in a future husband, and he's literally every single thing on the list. I want a man with a six pack, a great jawline, beautiful eyes, eight, like. Eight, eight pack. Eight, 16 pack. I never thought I would marry Miss USA. And now, times have changed. And now, we're exhausted. One kid is one kid, two kids is five kids, three kids is 9,476 kids, and a donkey. <laughs> You really need to go take a nap. We only got a little bit of time before Asher wakes up. I've been a professional working actor for 18 years. Most people recognize me and know me from, you know, the iCarly, the Hannah Montana. More recently, they'll know me for doing voiceover for things like The Walking Dead. Bravo team, cover fire! Ah! Hey, watch it! Doctor's appointment was Good. You'll be happy to know we have the clearance for... What? For sexy times. <laughs> for sexy Did you call it sexy? I only make love to my wife. <laughs>